Hi, so in this video we're going to be starting to talk about estimation skills. Uh, now this is a really important skill and particularly as you're moving on with maths and even in, in normal everyday um, life and transactions, estimation skills in maths are a really useful part of your mathematical toolbox. Um, what you can do is have a look at the um, post on mathswrap.co.uk and there is a downloadable uh, worksheet for you to have a go at that will give you quite a lot of practice in terms of how to use estimation skills. Um, you can also have a look at the YouTube channel and there is a playlist that relates to estimation of which there's going to be a couple of videos uh, in that particular playlist. So with this question, this is a question that is round about level D, level C um, at GCSE. It's relatively straightforward but it will give you a little bit of an introduction into the way that estimation skills can be helpful. Um, and this particular question deals with buying a fish tank. Um, so you're going to go into a, a, into a store and you're going to buy a fish tank. Okay, so let me give you the information that we've got. It's a straightforward uh, cuboid uh, fish tank, so it's a rectangular prism. And this particular uh, fish tank has dimensions of 29.6 centimetres along there and 14.8 centimetres along there and it's got an overall height of 10.4 centimetres. Okay, and the question is, is that you want to go into a store and you want to buy some fish and the fish that you buy need to have a volume of 7,000 centimetres cubed. Okay, so this is the requirement and when you go in, you're going to look at all sorts of different... There you go, that's my... Oh, that's an awful picture of fish. Um, let's see if I can do a bit better. So, let's see... Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm not sure about that sort of fish, but that one's okay. I'll just give him a little liner. There we go. Okay. So, you need 7,000 centimetres cubed of water or volume in order to accommodate your fish. Uh, and the question is, is this tank big enough? So you can, if you want, spend a fair bit of time. It is a non-calculator paper, so they're not expecting you to use a calculator. So you could spend a fair bit of time working out um, 29.6 times 14.8 times 10.4. And whatever answer that is, that will give you an exact calculation. Um, but it's an awful long time to be able to just answer a fairly straightforward two-mark question. So what they're going to do is ask you really to estimate the volume of this tank. So what we do is we look at the closest number that makes it easier to calculate. So this really isn't about significant figures or decimal places. Although if you have a look at mathrap.co.uk, there are some worksheets for you to practice those. This is all really about making calculations easier um, and a little bit more just answering fairly basic, fairly straightforward questions. So 29.6, well the closest number that I can work with on that is 30, so I'm going to make that 30. And again I've got 14.8, well the closest number that I can work with on that one is going to be 15. And then the closest number to 10.4 is going to be 10. So actually in terms of an approximation, this is pretty good, 30 times 15 times 10 is going to be a fairly good approximation for this volume. So in order to calculate that, well I know if I multiply by 10, all I do really is add a zero at the end of the calculation. So the only thing I'm going to concern myself with is 30 times 15. Well I know that if I just ignore the zero for the moment, I know that 3 times 15 um, is the same as 45. But because it's 30 times 15, then I'm going to add a zero on the end of it. So 30 times 15 is 450. And then I'm going to multiply that by 10. 
and 450 multiplied by 10 equals 4,500 and that's going to be centimetres cubed. So in other words, it's not big enough. So I'm going to have to have another look and see if I can find a bigger fish tank in order to accommodate the fish uh, volume that's required. So um, in terms of these kind of calculations, they tend to be relatively straightforward. It is true to say that the chances are the manufacturer would have put the volume of the, uh, the fish tank on the packaging, uh, but nevertheless for this particular exercise is just to give you some idea of how things will work for you. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do have a look at uh, matterapp.co.uk and have a go at some of the estimation skills uh, questions on the site and that might give you uh, some other ideas of where estimation skills can be useful. Uh, please do add a comment below or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, hope it's been helpful and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.